Hey, 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 welcome back. We hey. are in round number four. Well, game number four. Because technically we're not holding a tournament. We are just here to stream some content to keep our Pokemon fans entertained. entertained. Happy 4th of the July. Happy 4th of the July. By the way. Boom, boom. There's going to be some firecrackers in this matchup. We got Jeremy Adams playing Rambolt versus our special guest, Xander Perro. Playing Absolutions. Which did win Worlds, I believe. Uh, uh, it's still an Eevee deck. It should be Eeveelutions instead of Absolutions. I think that's the right way to do it. This should be a really, really close matchup. Um, if Xander, Xander may actually want to attack with the, with the Absols in this matchup because it hits the it hits the Bennett for double the weakness and continues to spread the en en or spread the damage. Uh, granted Jeremy can move the damage around. Uh, keep one damage counter off as long as it's active. That game should be really really tight. And it does appear to be a draw in the hands of seeing Eevee and Xander's Lickitung, such an underrated card. Lickitung was so good. EV start? Yep. So Lickitung for, for one energy. Uh, hit the bench for 10. If it was a Delta Pokemon, it hit him for 30. So it really balanced out the format. And I don't, I don't, I mean, a lot of people yeah. didn't run that early in the year. So ah. It could hit for could hit for weakness. Right now, it looks like Eevee's versus Sausage. Clearly, that's not the case. But sausages. Can you go ask Stefan to order food, or Caleb? Anyone? Ryan, I loved Evolutions too. And I only loved it because I had so many games in with it. And I'm glad to see that, you know, it took off in 07. One of the the few regrets I have as a player was not playing Lucario Eevees at Worlds that year. Was it Hawaii? You have an It was in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, Absol is an underrated attacker. Like people don't realize it. And when you get energy on it and start going it does 30 plus 10 to everything with damage so it stacks damage very quickly and against the uh, Bennett, i would imagine that absol would be very difficult for it to deal with with the psychic resistance as well with the castaway Yeah, Jeremy's hitting uh, Castaway. That'll get him an energy, a supporter, and a Pokemon tool. Or basic energy. And a see Pokemon it. tool card. I don't know if that was at the bottom of his deck, but I see a buffer piece right there. Right. Yeah, buffer piece threw off math for sure. Remember later on, I think it was 2008, my little brother played buffer piece because he's like, oh... This card's really good. And won him a game in cities. It was the only game he won that entire day. But he still he still told me when I told him Buffer Peace isn't worthy of putting in that deck that right. I was wrong. Castaway is such a good card. Any card that you trade one for three and three specifics is awesome. And it even allows you to choose, you know, any of your supporters, any of your basic energy, and any of your tool cards. So you can run one ofs and hit them a lot easier. So techs can go a lot further in certain matchups. Jeremy's taking his time going through his deck. He wants to make sure that he has everything he needs. Looks like he's moved a Scott to the front. Buffer piece energy. Buffer piece energy, yeah. I'm pretty sure buffer piece is the only tool, in tool the card. And, well, he runs one crystal shard. 
I do say that in there. This deck also runs three reversal. Uh, the trick about reversal back then was, you know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. So if you're running reversal as, as a means to win games, you'll lose just as many games. Uh, if you're running a one of or, or two of, um, you're more using it to try and change the game, alter the game, instead of using it as a win condition. Pokemon reversal is what Pokemon Catcher currently is. Yeah, it's, the, it's Pokemon Catcher's daddy. I really wish they just reprinted reversal you yeah. have all those great artworks from over the years that you could use right expedition has clearly the best one i'm, I'm partial to park <laughs> old soul silver uh well i'm sure dan's gonna pull up the worst one they can find okay. super or uh pokemon, pokemon reversal the artwork on that is really cool because there's always two different pokemon on it so the artwork was pretty fun on uh, Pokemon the, Reversals. What is that? Which one? That's from... Fire Red Leaf Green? Is that that set? Right. I see a Mudkip and a... Is that Magnezone? No, that's a Mudkip and a Zap and a uh, Zubat. <laughs> How did I get Magnezone out of Zubat? <laughs> I really need to go have my... Look at Weeping Bell and Geodude. And a, I love it. And, and Blastoise. Like an and Electabuzz. Come on. That's the best art ever. It looks like it's out of Pokemon Stadium, the video game, too. With all its uh, 3D-ness. Right. That's fantastic. It appears Xander's hand is full of Pokemon. But nothing else. But energy. There's like three energy and a bunch of Pokemon. Two energy now and a bunch of Pokemon. And he kicked him. Kick for 20. <laughs> well, as a former Eevee player, anytime you rear kick, things are not going well. What in doubt, kick it out. Yeah, Jeremy chose to go with the Crystal Guardians Banette instead of a Banette EX to start attacking. Um, it has a safeguard ability or body so they can't be damaged by, by EX Pokemon. Isn't that entire deck all the absolutions? Pretty much all EXs, all yeah. EXs. So he could sit behind this for a while unless he gets kicked out. <laughs> it's only four kicks. That he needs. Obviously, the strategy here for Xander is to um, get Jolteons going to keep the that Banette at bay. You try and kill it with dropping drop uh, damage counters and then moving them. But Jeremy keeping his bench low, whether it by choice or uh, completely by accident, uh, is preventing that strategy currently. With no bench Pokemon, there's nowhere to put damage counters to move with Absol. Yeah, I mean, he has the ability uh, to get basics. Oh, mentor, training method, uh, well, basics, evolution. Uh, but yeah, I think this is an accident. It doesn't look like he has well, anything he, in his yeah. hand until he grabbed the mentor with the Scott. Right. No, Crystal Beach uh, changes every uh, multi-energy, multi-colored, multi, like double and boost and scramble and that sort of stuff. Changes it all to and single like energy card, single colorless. Oh, that confusion is going to be tough. I mean, he could always attack with the Lickitung, too. Moment, uh well under jolting on here if he has to just to have another attacker so yeah he had to evolve into jolteon attaches to the other ev and he's gonna probably use call for family yeah. oh maybe not please be kind and rewind the lickitung will only do 10 damage here attaches oh. to lickitung benches with the tongue maybe he's drawing draw two 
Yeah, lap up, yeah. Two Lots cards. So he got energy and yep. a super scoop up off that. Neither one of those are what he probably needs right now, which is supporter. And the Lickitung being weak to fighting is going to allow it to hang in there at least two turns. Shouldn't the buffer piece be discarded? Yeah. Buffer piece. Buffer piece gone. That would be awesome if it could stay until it were hit. Mentor. There we go. And away we go. Dumps the soul rock. Yeah, Lunatone Soul Rock I don't think does much in that matchup since it shuts down colorless and fire Pokemon. Jimmy. Yes, sir. Is confusion twenty or thirty? Three damage counters. Is this look a tongue about to be confused? It uses the attacking. <laughs> Can't attack in the discard pile. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Sh I'm not certain that's a a strategy that uh, Jeremy's going to implore here. I'm not really sure. I think he's looking at them only for the abilities, since that's mostly how it was played. Right. Psychic Lunatone. Yeah, with all the fighting weakness, you would think he would have taken that that fighting. We see some indecision here. Dun, dun, dun. He's going to take one. And I think he's going to take a uh, Lunatone here. It's right in the beginning. Not that one. So those Lunatone Soul Rocks remind me of so much of uh, Sir Robert Downs. <laughs> he uh, played Lunatone and Soul Rock that entire year. It was awful. It was so bad. An hour and a half game. Yeah, it was. And then he started playing the uh, Rob Quaza. So actually, I, I think he played Lunatone Soul Rocks in, in 2006 and then moved on to Rob Quaza. Which actually made top four at nationals. There's a plus one for Poke Dads. And I'll just uh, I, I one, one, one Poke Dad memory that I'll have is when when Dave undefeated at nationals. Big Dave. Dave Coleman. Yeah, I remember when Mr. Lucas made top cut at, at nationals as well. Lost to a Poke Dad playing Beedrill. Oh, the, well, the devastation. <laughs> On his face. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my fair share of games to Beedrill as well. I can't... Uh... I, I got hit with the bees on the stream. I don't know what Xander's strategy to get over that Benet is going to be. Uh, but he needs to start getting damage out and play. But Ned has 70 hit points. And Jeremy keeping his bench low is preventing any damage from stacking. I don't believe Crystal Beach will hurt the Evolution deck too much. The only card that Xander has played, and this being his third turn, is that one Mary's request. Up. Yeah, that's all he can do. Yeah. Oh, he gets <laughs> heads. Up. Boom, boom. Ugh. Again, a Pokemon in a super scoop up. Second turn, in, second turn in a row that has happened. How many cards That's have? awful. Ten. He's got ten, ten cards, and pretty much none of them are any good so i watched some of the videos from last week and i noticed that uh in our microphones we could hear the players the players are adjacent to us they're at a different table they are fairly close to us uh, they're also wearing headphones with fairly loud music on it so they're naturally talking a little bit louder than 
a normal conversation would be had. Um, and they're doing that because obviously they got the loud music playing and they can't hear uh, how loud they're actually talking. So they have headphones that are communicating between themselves. But on the videos, we I definitely did notice that uh, there was some background noise and wanted to give some input on that. Yo, know, Mighty Ina, I just read your comment there. It really felt like they put a ton of effort in designing the Halon engine. They must have because uh, it's something that hasn't been seen since. And it, um, it balanced that format. Yeah. It balanced that format so well. <laughs> it gave decks that didn't run Pidgeot an opportunity to keep up. Uh, you like hearing the players? Yeah. We actually thought at one point we should just allow the players to commentate their own match and just allow, uh, instead of two commentators, just allow the you know allow them to be heard versus having commentary. Um, but in the heat of battle, uh, we were worried that things could be said amongst some, friends some, that probably shouldn't make it out. Some four-letter words. Yeah, and some bigger words too, I'm sure. But... Uh, we decided to go with commentary instead, and plus, it allows us to have it allows us to have an opportunity to be in front of the camera and, and see what it's like sitting on the other side of the table. You can never really appreciate what people do until you sit in the you know walk in there, walk in their shoes, and uh, this is our opportunity to do so. Circle circuiting. Is he losing? Yes, he is. At least there's a threatening attacker right. now in play for Xander. Right. He still has no supporter um, at all. So this is tough because now the Rayquaza can pop the Banette for 50. So if if uh, if Xander can drop a Jolteon, that would put 10 damage on the Banette EX and then pop it for 50 would put Xander in a positive position in this matchup. If Xander can win this without playing a supporter, he's officially the GOAT. Holiday Adventure? Well, he's played the Mary's Request first, so... That was, that was the first turn, second turn of the game, his first. Yeah, he's taken four turns and only played one supporter. Jeremy really needs to uh, get that Benetti X into the active to move a damage counter off it to preserve it. Because Xander does have the super scoop up in hand. Uh, his only energy or rainbow energy, which is awful, awful in this situation. He actually, I think he has two super scoop ups in his hand. So if he fails, he has a, another option. And confused. That's a big deal. So the confusion may keep uh, may keep Jeremy. I mean, I don't know, man. Do you run? Do you hit super scoop up heads on both? Maybe that's the play here. You run the super scoop for the Rayquaza. And if you hit heads on that one, you promote the Jolteon, rebench the Rayquaza, and then see if you can hit that second super scoop up on the Jolteon. And relay it on the new Eevee. That would give you a bench knockout on the Banette. And put two damage counters on the other one. And get the Crystal Guardian's Banette up to 40. That would be super ideal. Man, <laughs> I have a 25% chance of locking down this game this turn. Having only played one supporter in five turns. I think he has to go super scoop up on Rayquaza here. I mean, even if he can't hit the Jol Jolteon's free retreat, right? So even if he, he can't get the the Jolteon out of uh, out of play, it's got a free retreat to where he could still attack. Right. I'm not sure you'd want to move one damage counter with Absol. Um, I, I I would play that would be a last case scenario.
I think the super scoop up is the play here. So one supporter in five turns, Xander's dealing with. He's doing some math. You know something else he could do? Oh, this would be so dirty. As I say, he can attack with Eevee. Oh, he can he's, kick him. He's still, he's still got it. Oh, he's an IQ attached to the Absol, so he can't kick. Come on. Heads it is. Well, at least those heads flips are keeping him in the game. It does six? Or it does okay. five. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Or you're at 60. All right, so six total. All right, good. Got the game state good. Uh oh! Please be kind and rewind. These are this is a very casual tournament, so not even really tournament, but we're all friends here. We want to play the decks as optimal as possible. Um, with the cards in hand for sure. We can't can't guarantee how the cards are going to draw out, but uh, we definitely want to play the best moves we can with the cards that we're given. So Jeremy's got an interesting turn. He can move. He can move damage counters off the bonnets when they're active. And then crash chance. So he has. He has one, two, three, four, five. He has five supporters in his discard pile currently. So Bennett's doing 80, which is perfect math to knock out the Rayquaza. Uh, and then he can move that damage counter off and put it either on Jolteon or on the Absol, which is going to be harder for him to knock out next turn. Is there a way that Xander could take three prizes next turn i mean yeah there's absolutely a way i mean all he's got to do is drop one jolt he needs to hit the super scoop up on the jolteon if he hits that super scoop up so that mentor does not count towards crash chant uh, back in these days you had to play the supporter next to the active pokemon and crash chant only allowed you to count the the yeah, supporter the cards that were in the discard pile Jeremy is maxed out on the supporters for uh, so 50. for the attack. So he would be doing 80 damage this turn because Mentor doesn't make it into the discard pile to count towards the attack. Lunatone and Soul Rock. I think he's going to start... Start attacking with that fighting uh, Lunatone there. I'm sure my buddy Joseph Bolteron would like me to talk about the origination of the naming of this deck. Uh, Jeremy, as you know, won seniors with uh, Rambolt. And, uh, you know, I really don't know why he named it after Bolt. I don't believe he had any <laughs> anything to do with the deck at all other than the name. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Rambolt was clearly named after my buddy Joseph here. Don't know where the ram came from, but Bolt I can attest to. All right, Jeremy's going to attach a double here. Pram's deck is named after him too, right? All right, let's have the, the, the prom versus pram conversation. All right, we're going to retreat this Bennett. Bring out the second Bennett here. 
like supporters. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide yeah. where I want to move damage from. Yeah. Once during your turn, Bennett, you may move one damage counter from either player's Pokemon to another, so he can move it off of the Bennett. Put it on the fluffy little Eevee there. Supporter. So this Macross is going down this turn. I'll shadow chant for knockout. goes down. Shadow chant for 80. Now Jeremy's maxed out at 90 damage since he has six supporters in his discard pile. Oh, oh Xander. Turn no number supporter. six is still missing. Still missing supporters. So there's there's no real excuse for bad draws here, but each one of my retro decks is in complete order. Uh, set order on, on the website, it follows the exact list. So if we don't get a good shuffle on these uh, decks before we play them, sometimes you'll run into to hands like this. Yeah, that Absol is going to be tough for Jeremy to deal with. He maxes at 90 damage. Absol reduces it by 30. Sure, you can move one damage counter and eventually catch up to it over the course of two turns. But Absol is going to wreak havoc. I mean, perhaps the Lunatone, but I don't see enough Soul Rocks in play. Here's a scoop up. The first one, at least. I'm not sure he wants to get rid of that energy. Man, he's three for three on head flips. Promotes the Absol. Promotes the Absol. Should bench an Eevee with an energy. He attached an energy. Oh, with Absol, he's moving damage. It's moving damage. I just needed to not see another one of these this turn. So, what Jeremy doesn't know. Xander exclaimed he's he's going to do something. He's making noises now. I don't know why he would do that, Tony. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Math is fun. Math is fun. Do you try so and hit one of those super scoop ups now? And then ten, ten. What does Pulse do? Ten of bench Pokemon with damage, but the bandit doesn't take anything because the Pokemon is. She just took out both those. And he still has a super scoop up next turn. So that's four prizes in one turn. Didn't want to see one he has a out. super scoop up next turn for the Jolteon again. Right. And he could. Uh, uh, yeah, but moving that damage, I, I, I mean, I guess whether you used it last turn or, or next turn is irrelevant here, but I w I'm pretty sure you're going to want to um, move that damage onto the Bennett if he decides to attack you with Bennett. Jolteon isn't going to do much of anything. It won't even one-shot. He has to lay another Jolteon in order to one-shot the active Lunatone. Is there a fourth Absol in this deck? Oh, I'm pretty sure the deck runs yeah. four, yeah. What, what yeah. he could do is he could get the fourth Absol here. He could spread the... the well, if he can get it. He hasn't play, He's only played one supporter. He's only played one supporter in six turns and somehow he's managed to take four prize cards how did that lightning get attached to that the Jolteon um, if he attached the Balte this turn last turn that that was an Eevee sitting on the yeah, bench and yeah. had that energy okay. for a while the camera's in the yep no no worries movement.
Yeah, so Jeremy just needs to go aggressive with this Lunatone. Um, that would bring him down. Lunatone? <laughs> I wouldn't go everything. I mean... Having Pokemon and Energy in the Absolutions deck is absolutely, no pun intended, the way to go. But uh, some some draw support would be nice as well. Yeah, he's going to... So he'll hit the Absol for zero damage. But confuse it. So Lunatone, uh, target beam does no, 20 plus 10 more for each soul rock you have in play. So 20, 30, 40, it would max at 40 plus power or strength charm would be 50. So it could one shot the Absol. No supporter. The problem is he's two energies behind now. But again, Jeremy has, or uh, Xander has no way to, to deal with this Banette currently. I mean, two turns away, you can attack it outright with Eevee. He could. He Just, couldn't if he gets the fourth. I like, can't even get the. Oh wait, there is. He does. He did get supporter. He got something else he could do too. It's crazy, but you can drop the Voltorb, the Halon's Voltorb, and actually attack with it. So if he could move, if he could move damage over to the Banette Kitty, he could kick it. Right. So well. The other way, too, is that he could simply drop a Jolteon here, put 10 on everything, and then drop an Absol and move the damage out to the active Banette. But he did get a supporter. He got a mentor. So. Yeah, I don't think Jirachi X is worthwhile here. Ooh, Jolt Star would be good, too. Well, no, it wouldn't. He needs a Jolteon. He doesn't truly need anything, but Jolteon EX would put 10 on everything bring in the Binette, uh within 30 hit points of knockout. And it would put both Lunatone and Soul Rock both at 30. So Absol could move 30 out to the active, taking the knockout on the um, the Binette. I can't tell what that middle card... Oh, it's another Absol. So you have the Jolteon Star, the Absol, and a... Uh... And what was the third card? That would be so great if he attacked with the Voltorb. It would be. If he can, if he can find a way to to get rid of this bayonet, he's in. I mean, there's several ways it can be done. He could almost afford to flip through confusion here. Even with the tails, it doesn't put him in a horrible position. No. But it would put the 10 damage on the two bench Pokemon that have damage. Which would bring him up to 30 and negate the Jolteon drop for next turn. So if he hits heads, if he attacks with the Absol and hits heads, I would hold that Jolt Star. If he attacks through it and puts 10 on both Lunatone and Soul Rock, that puts them both at 30. Oh, oh he God. is 4 for 4. 4 for 4 on head flips this game. Yes, yeah, so if he has an Absol, he can knock out this Binet right now. He does. Yep, there we go. I'll give it to you, Xander. This could be Gaza. That's this game. game. That's game. Well wow. done. The GOAT. He he did it with two supporters. Well done. Turns. Well done. That was uh that was pretty pretty close game. Uh Bennett had a kind of a slow start, got all the 
supporters in the discard pile fairly quickly. Um, but with Xander not drawing any supporters that game, uh, he was able to draw into all the Pokemon that that deck thrives off to work. So Absol, slow sh uh, Jolteons, Super Scoop Ups. Uh, he also went 4 for 4 on Head Flips, which kept him in the game. Any of those that could have been Tails uh, possibly could have put him in a negative position, but Jesus, you talk about top decking one card after another, after another, after another. That Rayquaza move was easily fantastic, so... Uh, that was pretty gross. Just move, moving all that damage and getting everything. The die Nothing is, is every save. The die is not loaded. I flipped tails more than once. Yeah. With that very same die. He always has Fafway on Vaporeon as a last resort. Yeah, Vaporeon could get around it, but it's much more fun, and you get better style points when you move the damage with Absol to take a knockout in the active position. That's super great. That was a, that was a good game. Yeah, that was absolutely a good game. Brett two left. Uh, well. Let's uh, let's play pay our respects for Joseph Boltron. Uh, Rambolt went down in a, a heaping blaze of glory. All right, we got two games left. Uh, round number four is complete. We will see you back shortly.